All right, what's up, guys? So, Hati, she is uploading a video titled, Why Tati is Getting Sued. I've seen some stuff about her getting sued. I guess it has something to do with her brand. I, yeah, because I think Keemstar, he was reporting on it, but... Anyways, um, yeah, let's let's see what Hot Tea, what she has to say about it and stuff. But yeah, if you guys haven't, go subscribe to her. Go show her some love. Um, also, show some love to her second channel, Ray Rahimi, and her business channel, Build Your Pocket. Also, um, I, I still would like to apologize because in the last video, I I accidentally, because look, the, the like, names were just being tossed left and right. And I almost had called Ray Trisha Paytas. I, Ray, I am sorry. Please forgive. Like, I, you know, I haven't heard nothing. Um, you know, I know no responses. So I, I would imagine she's right now, like, you know, just boarding to come here to Washington State and punch me in the face. Because I gave her, I gave her, you know, I gave her permission to after making a mistake like that. I'm like, after everything she's been through, then to call her that name, like, yeah, that's, you know, that's that's some messed up stuff. And I, you know, if she if she wants to punch me, I look, you can for it as hard as you can. Just at least let me take my glasses off. But anyways, now let's go ahead and get into this video. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel where we spill tea left and right. If you thought Drama Get In 3 was over, well, you may be wrong. Today, we're talking about Tati Westbrook and her husband, James Westbrook, getting into some legal trouble. But before we get into it, let me preface this by giving credit to Without a Crystal Ball, who broke out the story first. Before we get into the story, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Always, I really want to know your opinion on this one. And all right, let's get into the tea. If you guys have been following the tea earlier this year, you know that we got to learn a lot more about Drama Get In 2 from 2019. Sounds like we're talking about some action movie, but <laughs> no. So last time we heard anything from Tati was when she broke her silence earlier this June when we got to hear her oh, yeah. side of the story, sharing a bit more about what she's going to do about it and so on. This was happening right when Jeffrey and Shane were getting all the heat and we learned that both of them had much more to do with the bi sister scandal than we thought. And now Tati is getting sued, I remember that. but how is this all connected? Stay tuned. Now, if you're not fully aware of the whole saga, yeah, it, go watch. <clears throat> yeah, it was, uh, that was just crazy, all that stuff that was going down. And it's funny, because I'm like, I don't even pay attention to, like, anything that goes down in, like, the makeup uh, community and stuff with YouTube. But, man, that was, like, that was some trending stuff. Like, everything that was going down, I was like, what is happening? I thought you... Like, you would see these guys, and you would think, like, they're some of the most chillish YouTubers ever. Like, all they're doing is just, you know, just promoting makeup. That's it. And it's more to it. Like, I was, wow. You, I just, you would have thought, like, every other YouTuber out there, you would have thought, like, people that played video games on YouTube. I mean, there has been beefs between, like, uh, gamers and stuff, but... Dang, it's like the, the beef that goes on in the makeup community. I'm like, hey, look, if there's a makeup brand, they ever want to contact me for anything, I'm like, am I guaranteed to not get into no drama if I release this? Because I feel like I'll release it. It'll be a bunch of makeup artists on YouTube uh, like, oh, he doesn't even like makeup. He doesn't. He's discouraged makeup. And it's like a five minute, five minute straight to T-Moss Boss discouraging uh, makeup. But anyways. Previous videos to catch up. I'll give you guys a quick recap, even if you're already familiar with the story, just so we're all at the same point. So over a year and a half ago today, Tati was upset with James Charles promoting sugar bear hair at Coachella due to her and James being very close friends and her owning a company called Halo Beauty about vitamins and supplements. And the company James advertised is a direct rival to Tati's brand. That escalated to a video called By Sister where she called him out and pretty much broke the internet. See, I don't, I wouldn't think that that would be on him. You know, like I, cause I see it as that if this, so if I was in her shoes and something like that were to happen to me, I'm like, okay, well, I know that that's 
uh, the brand that's doing that. Now, it'd be one thing if uh, James Charles did go to this brand and was like, hey, I want to promote your guys' uh, company. But if they send him a check and they're all like, hey, promote our company and things, I'm like, that's between the, the best way I feel like to handle a situation like that is just to be the hardest worker in the room. You know, like, work harder at what you're doing than them. So I feel like that will settle everything. You know, in a video like this, the Buy Sister video would have never got made. So I just, yeah, I don't know. That's just what I did. If somebody would have been like, oh, well, how would you felt if your friend was promoting, like, your rival company? There's, like, people that I follow on YouTube that follows my haters. I, You know, I don't talk to them, but I'm not going to make hate videos or buy sister videos or whatever and stuff i just won't talk to them you know and i'm like and i i don't know like if it was on bad intentions on why james charles did what he did then yeah i'm like you know don't talk to a guy like that but if it wasn't and they and you sat there and was like talking like okay like hey like what's going on and like they contacted me they were paying me and so on but anyways for a hot minute with some alleged accusations and the rest is history Probably most of you know how that scandal went down. Yeah. With James pulling the biggest Uno reverse I was like, card. And I know. That was like one of the first, her video, because I watched the video just to see what it was about. And honestly, I could tell you, it was like, think of like watching a TV show, but you start on like season five, episode 15. You, and but there's like all these things that like connected up so it was like you watch like this hour long episode because you heard it was a good episode but yeah you're just like what what am i watching who is this person what, what's going on here so but yeah i remember that was like one of the like first videos i watched where it was like outside of the genre of videos that i like watching that was like 40 something minutes long and i sat there and i just watched the whole video straight and i'm like huh okay okay now i'm caught up on what's going on but anyways making a complete 180 while people like jeffree star were bringing up even bigger accusations towards him but yeah all that happened because vitamins and now we're on that topic once again i mentioned earlier that tati finally came out with her side of the story and how everything went down from her perspective and in that video from a few months ago, she added that she cannot fully disclose everything due to having a legal team and representatives involved, insinuating that she is going to sue certain people for damages on her brand and so on. Now that we've summed it up as fast as possible, let's talk about what else we now know. So, Tati and her husband James Westbrook are being sued by the partner of Tati's mentioned company, which is Halo Beauty. Neither Tati or James have put out statements so far. So there are some theories that we're going to take a look at. Of course, everything is alleged, not confirmed. Only one side of the story is now confirmed. Okay, so we have a few screenshots from the lawsuit, which I'll credit to Spill Sesh on YouTube. She managed to find like, You know, this, this to me, I'm like, YouTubers, it's, it just seems like YouTube is just such a different environment. From when i was on here like i got i came i've been on the youtube scene for 10 years now and youtube back then it just used to be hey post this weird video or post a video of you and your friends having fun or whatever but what youtube has become like today like what it is today it amazes me like this is somebody this is coming from a person i've been on youtube since i was 14 seeing it now i'm like this is man and it's like just to see and it doesn't even seem like it was like slowly transitioned into this it just seemed like one day just drama left and right drama 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 and it was like where is this all coming from like what's happening right now but from her video it's the trend, on the topic. Man. from this screenshot we can see that the partner of tati and james westbrook was an old friend and colleague of james the split was 50 50 at first the lawsuit states that the westbrooks were not happy with owning only 50 percent which is before when the business took off. They offered to give the partner two thirds of the business and Tati would use Halo Beauty as an umbrella brand for any future business launches, including skincare, <coughs> makeup, fragrances, and etc. So the partner mm -hmm. agreed. Halo Beauty's first launch was a success. As a result, Tati became highly profitable and made a bunch of money. The Westbrooks made millions of dollars on the 16.66% of the business that their partner hmm. gave them. The partner and Halo Beauty set out to launch more products. Further on, the document states that the Westbrooks got greedy 
and instead of honoring their agreement, they cut a separate deal to launch a cosmetics product and eyeshadow palettes without their business partner and Halo Beauty. Mm -hmm. Future launches wow. in cosmetics, fragrance, and etc. were planned separately without the partner or Halo Beauty participating. And as a result, it's their business up. partner and Halo Beauty have been robbed of the benefits of the agreement that the Westbrooks have not honored and they continue to profit off of it. So wow. to sum everything up, Tati and her husband James had 50% of Halo Beauty at first, while their business partner had the other half. And allegedly, they wanted to reach an agreement to have two-thirds of the brand, while Halo Beauty can be the mother company of any other brands Tati wants to develop, which includes cosmetics, fragrance, skincare, as I previously mentioned. That means that the partner that they initially had would now only have one-third of Halo Beauty and would profit from future companies that are under Halo Beauty's umbrella. So now he's accusing Tati and James of fraud, breach of contract, and negligence. Tati and James pitched the idea that Halo Beauty could reach the value of three billion dollars, which oh, is insane. Dang. Jeffree Star's name is also mentioned in this lawsuit. Tati allegedly mentioned that Jeffree Star Cosmetics was offered $500 million just for his brand from L'Oreal. Basically, she said that they can build up Halo Beauty in a similar way. Tati mentioned that she has a big circle of influencers that could promote the brand, including Jeffree, James Charles, and others, which is honestly a great way to promote a new brand through influencers. If you guys remember yeah. all the business trips in 2016. That's honestly like what it is today like with them um, influencers you'll see in like a lot of like just I anybody it ain't even just youtubers but it's just anybody with a social media following from tiktok to instagram to youtube you'll see a lot of people on youtube uh will be promoting like apps and video games and all that other different stuff tiktok the latest one that i've been seeing on there is the coldest water but on um, water bottle i guess or something like that and Instagram, it just, you'll see like a lot of different, like, cause I don't know, it's, it's just a wide variety of a bunch of stuff that gets promoted on Instagram, but it's the wave. It's the thing. Like they, they know that their followers, if they come out with some video or post saying, oh, I love this makeup or I love this tea or I love this video game or I love this, like their fans is going to be like, oh, and then also if they say some stuff like, oh, this is what I use or this is what I play or this is what I, you know, like then their fans is going to do exactly that. So that's just that's what happens and you know that's that's life now like you think you come on to because i know if i if i because i have to say i've gotten like two brand deals it was like okay i know seat geek it was i i had some like cool things with that there's the one brand i was promoting for a little bit of Vasilo, and it wasn't really a whole lot of things happening even though i was getting like a lot of like viewers on the website and stuff but um yeah it's just you know brands that's that's the wave like you get a brand deal like that's good for you so accept those brand deals but don't get scammed i think i think ray she said that she didn't some people then tried to scam her with some brand so be careful of those scammers there are people that out there just try to get your information and stuff and use it but um yeah be be careful with those brands but anyway 16 to 2018 some big brands like Too Faced, Tarte, or Benefit Cosmetics would take beauty gurus for a few days to some private island give them expensive equipment and other gifts so 10 to 15 influencers can promote the brand and honestly that is such a direct way to get consumers you know straight to the millions of fan bases that these gurus have and even if they're not in the millions they still would have a huge influence and impact on their audience. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. Now I'm going to read you guys the specific way Tati allegedly got their business partner to agree to the initial offering. Miss Westbrook related that she was sitting at her dining room table one night with Laura, Manny, James, and Jeffrey when Jeffrey disclosed that a nutraceuticals competitor, Sugar Bear Hair, was offering $200,000 for a promotional video. Hmm. Miss Westbrook told the partner that she asked these influencers not to endorse Sugar Bear Hair because she was launching a competing hair, skin, and nails vitamin. She told the partner that all the influencers turned down the Sugar Bear hair offer. Wow. It says that after an extensive pitch, the business partner agreed. Which means if all of this is true, that would explain why Tati was so upset with James Charles when he promoted Sugar Bear Hair, which obviously we all saw, but this explains it on a whole new level. So maybe everything was just because of vitamins, but at the end of the day, that's just speculation. And from all it's of like, this it's info- just, You know, you didn't think like vitamins would cause all this drama. Like I'm like, look, if it ain't the Flintstone vitamins, I don't want them, but nah, it's uh, 
it's just yeah i think that's insane like that's that's crazy you know this is like coming from a person where i'm like you know i i i would consider myself a full-time youtuber i love youtube i love everything about it but when you see things like this like it's it just it amazes me and i'm like wow this is this i'm this is coming from somebody where it's like beefing and drama and all of that like i don't really take it that serious but yeah it's just when you see it then you're like dang this is this is wild we can see that Tati did end up starting her cosmetics brand. Her palette for Tati Beauty was a huge success, so maybe all of that was planned months in advance with the whole agreement, but then clearly it has not fallen through. And that definitely makes Tati and her husband look shady in this whole situation, but yeah. now people are questioning her last video, where she insinuated that there will be legal action against some people, but she never specified. So it... And if you remember, she also had a script prepared, so she didn't slip mm. up and say too much on the topic if there was any legal actions taken some even said the whole i will be taking legal action talk was to distract from this lawsuit but i don't know what do you guys think do you think that this is too far or is it strategic or are tati and james shady and unprofessional with everything mentioned above let Probably me know what one. your opinion is just seems like a lot of shady today, people guys. make sure to give this they video can't do this but you can do this but... channel i post new videos every single week all right bye yeah, it just seems like it's too much going on. I'm like, yo, I just, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm like, hey, I don't want no drama or problems or any of that stuff. Like, can we just, that's what it's like. You guys say some, like, Rodney King stuff. Like, can we all just get along? Like, this is too, this is doing too much. Like, man, the day where I, you know, because with, like, my, with my brand and stuff, like, when I start asking people to promote it, if they say yeah i'm like cool like here's a hoodie just wear it in videos talk about it post about it all of that if there's and that's the thing i'm like i don't even know like what brand i can be rival with even if it's youtubers that i beefed with and they come out with a brand and they contact the people that i'm um see that's what i'm all like is there that's what you gotta ask like is there like a foundation you know, with your guys' friendships and relationships or whatever. Because I feel like if James was that quick to go out and promote your rival um, brand, then there wasn't no foundation within the friendship. There wasn't no, like, no holding ground. Because I feel like anybody that knows me or they know the people that I'm beefing with, then they're going to, like, they ain't even, like, no discussion. They're going to just be like, who, why? No, I'm not going to promote your brand. Like, no, this is, you beef with my friend. Like, I'm not going to do that to him and stuff. So, but even if they were, if it was like, if, uh, cause my, I like, I don't know like what will happen to a person in the future. So I see it as that I'm more so thinking for my friend, whatever brand they promote is whatever brand they promote. <clears throat> if they promote a rival brand, um, brand, I'm like, all right, whatever, you know, it's my, I see it as this. It's like, if you're getting paid, to promote them then you can use this money for whatever reason like so if it's to if using this money is helping you pay a bill with your family kid whatever or whatever it's helping you with then cool i hope it brings a lot of like i hope whatever you're doing i hope it brings you nothing but success but yeah i i, I don't know like i it's not even, i feel like it ain't even my place like that's why it's just, i feel like that people you need to focus and worry on yourself rather than focusing and worrying about it because yeah it's just I, I just think that stuff like that is just you're you're going yeah i think it's just going too far i'm like you guys is out here suing each other for vitamins and stuff i'm like bro get you some flintstone vitamins and call it a day but all this other extra stuff i'm like it's it's doing way too much but anyways um this was a, it was a good video though it was a pretty good video as always um make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to hot tea for more videos like this subscribe to her second channel ray Rahimi, and her business channel build your pocket like subscribe to me too and i'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and peace